Hi, welcome to another podcast from Meet Me Podcast. You guys know how much I love to share with you guys about my knowledge, and at the same time, in my Meet Me Podcast, I love to bring amazing people that I have the opportunity and the luck to meet them in my life. And again, today, another friend of mine, Eileen. Thank you for coming for the show. So let's share with our audience who are you and what you've been doing. Hi everyone. Good morning. My name is Elin. I'm a founder of Shang, where I make savory and sweet food creation with love. So I started mm. this business during COVID time. So I do live streaming on Shopee. So in less than a year, I got six hundred over review. Then that's when I realized that oh, I need to scale up and learn more about the digital world. <laughs> Mm, awesome, awesome! This is already a fun of podcast that a lot of people are going to be catch on this podcast with me. I have a question for you. What it make you from? I'm sure you work somewhere before you decide to be an entrepreneur. What a decision that you make now. The correct question is why do you decide to quit your nine to five job and start your own business? In e-commerce, to be say like, right? Actually, I didn't really quit my job. I was abandoned by my job. <laughs> oh, so your bosses fire you? It's okay. Yes, Now they regret. Fire you. <laughs> We are going to change department. <laughs> But I mean that. Oh,、uh, to be very frank with you, maybe、mm -hmm. I would like to share a little bit about myself. Yes. Actually, you know, in Singapore, we are all quite. I would say we are. I mean, as known to others, we are like quite educated. But from young, I stopped studying. I mean, I quit my school at the age of thirteen.、Mm. Yeah. So you know, being young, rebellious, and being so naughty, <laughs> I was like being brought to a girl's home. Oh, yes.、Okay. That's a very.、So、I was there like for two years. So I learned to be even more. Rebellious, <laughs> because I'm in a group with a bunch of naughty girls, so I became even more naughty.、Hmm. I mean that、uh, that's my past. I also learned some skills there. I learned my hair styling. I got a hair styling cert in there. So、mm. when I when after two years I came out, I played. I really played till I find that okay. It's time I need to go back to study. So that's when I'm from a sec one, a secondary one, girl who doesn't、mm. have any education.、Yeah. Till I got two degree, ah,、uh, two diploma and one degree. Hmm. Yeah. So I mean that. Hmm. In my life, I never regretted my decision、mm. because it's my decision. Very interesting because you just share with me. By the way, you guys, the story you hear today is、uh, my first time as well. You know, <laughs> I want to keep it so real and so authentic that I refuse to listen for Eileen. I say, you know what? You need to go to my podcast because <laughs> I want to hear it for the first time and I want to hear it authentically. And that's what I love. About people that I have a very strong instinct with people, right? And when I meet someone and I can catch the moment in my life, like okay, this person is awesome. I want to bring to my channel. Let's go back to that age and when you go to girl home and for whoever not understand the word home girl or girl home, I forgot. Girl. Girls, girls home.、Mm -hmm. It's mean like you did something illegal, but you under age. So basically,、oh. they don't throw you to, right? Yes, they don't throw、yeah. you to the real big jail. Yeah, the real big jail. They yeah, basically so send you to the place that to to discipline you first, right? Yes, like thing like if you didn't pass your probation,、mm. probation is like okay, you are naughty, ni. So, ah,、uh, I am your probation officer. I give you like ah、uh, by every day by ten, you need to be at home. So I will、mm. give you a spot check. That's a very extremely and big thing for a young girl. To be honest, story.、Mm. I mean, I've been in the age of teenager, and you know, similar story. Like extremely difficult. I understand. How do you overcome that when you be a lady, which is like in mid twenty? You know, when you get all your degree and get back to life, any moment that still hold you back. 
I would I'm not very sure about that, but it's like you know in my life, right? Like despite same maybe same a little bit similar like you, we lack of family love and everything. So in you know when I get to start to do something, I just do 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 do. I do not know how to celebrate or acknowledge mm. like achievement. Like people say, Wow, you could have a degree. Then I was like, Okay, it's just a degree, like so what? <laughs> You get what I mean? But to others, it's like you are just a secondary one. You have like no prior education or knowledge and everything. How did you go from like two diploma and one degree to be where am I? Because I need certificate to work in big MNC. <laughs> yeah. So it's like I didn't also realize that I need to acknowledge that this is an achievement. Because, mm. you know, in life, we just keep doing, keep doing, keep doing. Even we have some achievement in life, we just feel that, okay, it's nothing. We just need to continue to do what we are doing. Mm. And people tell you that, hey, you know that that is such a big achievement. I think you should learn to celebrate. I mean that in life, we are always learning. I think we are always learning. You and me also learning each day. So we are continuously improving ourselves to be a better person. How was that when you start working? How was life changed for you? How the relationship between you and your family and uh, relationship between you and yourself as well? How I was mean, that changing after mm -hmm. you have the degree and you start your life? The first MNC that I work in is in the big four accounting firm. Mm. You know where all, all of them is a uh, graduates with prestigious, prestigious uh, university. Then mm. you are just like okay, you are just a ITE student, uh, a diploma student. Then I was like, I go there, I learn, I I really learn. How do I explain this? Like how to really communicate with people. Mm. Because I don't think I'm good at communicating. <laughs> because it's like we are so on the street person. So we are just like, we have the tendency of like throwing our tantrums when we are not happy. You know, oh, yeah. it's like right. we learn to, you know, in such a big MNC, I said, okay, this is a big MNC. So how is the people there? <laughs> you get what I mean? It's like so. It's deep. more like people think that we don't know how to behave as an elegant way, right? Yeah. That, so, you know. <laughs> When you together with like uh, graduates and with prestigious degree, you know, you just feel that somehow at times you feel inferior, but somehow mm. you are, then to you, you tell yourself that, look, we are the same, but we are just being brought up the different way as we go. I mean that I do cry at my workplace. Then my manager will say, okay, you don't cry. You don't cry. I don't think she mean it because it's like sometimes when people say, I feel that, oh, you're so nasty, you're so bad. <laughs> so it's like, I really learn a lot. And I think I also knock a lot of wars along mm. the way. Yes. And then you mentioned just now that COVID hit and you get out of your job. Share a little bit more about that. Actually, I got out of my, I mean that my job strike, I think it's around five, six years back when I got mm. retrenched, then mm. I tried looking for a job. But somehow, you know, no matter how many resumes that I sent out, like just be a uh, simple, like maybe a back-end office, doing back-end office, or maybe a junior secretary. When I go for a junior secretary role, they say, oh, you are overqualified. Then I was like, oh my God, at the age of 35, what is overqualified for a junior secretary role? Then what qualification do you need? Or even I'm M able to match your pay i still couldn't get a job you know i start living in the life like okay when i was started working in my 20s then i said that, okay when we maybe get retrenched maybe it's at the age of 45 you know age of 45 then that is the danger zone that we we should be looking at but i didn't expect that it happened to me at the age of 35 <laughs> Like 10 years earlier, then I was like, oh my God. Then I've been going for interviews. Like, it's just that people say, oh, you are overqualified. Even you are willing to match the pay, they say that, oh, I don't think I can pay you. Then I was like, <gasps> in my life, then I started to realize that, okay, something is wrong somewhere. <laughs> something is really wrong somewhere. That Your God is want you to be entrepreneur, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, start. you just start <gasps> Starting to doubt that, is this correct? 
what's mm. happening? You know, like everything is like in the question mark. It's like, are you really not good enough? You get what I mean? Because sometimes, mm. sometimes that we work hard for our work, but sometimes that, you know, like due to office politics or some human relationships just doesn't makes you, make just makes your life difficult. Oh, I get it. Oh, I've been there. Man. Yeah. Because I mean, if you are being authentic, you just say, hey, Ni, what's your problem? You have issue with me? Why don't mm. we just pick it up? To me, I'm yep. a very straightforward person. But somehow, at times, that this type of behavior, it offend people because they feel that it's a confrontation. Yep. But as for me, I am just very simple. I am very authentic. If we are not happy, we just speak about it. We get it done, get it over, and we make things work. But mm. if you are just like a bird chipping here and there, this is not my style. I totally hate it because I don't find it very truthful. Yeah, because I think being a, a very authentic person, very truthful to your inner feelings, we tend to be a little bit more straightforward than others. Yeah. You know, that's a good thing and also the hard thing for us. Yes. The good thing is you live very freely of who you are. Yes. The harder thing of side effect of that is you have more hate than love and you have very little friend, but the friend you have is truly love you for who you are. Yeah. Yes. The number I, is so small. The number is so small. So we yeah. need to, I mean that this doesn't also, because of this, we couldn't really say that, okay, I do not need any friends. Everybody need friends, but it's yeah. just that. We need to learn to select our friends because we Definitely. need to be in the same circles so that we can help each other to improve ourselves. I think this yeah. is more important. Yeah. What is the moment that is turning point for you to make you, is, I'm calling rock bottom, that is the turning point for you for change your life forever and it teach you a special lesson of your life? I'm a woman with secrets. I have mm. a lot of secrets. Even my my childhood friend doesn't know. Mm. So it really when I really started my podcast years maybe one or two years back in to come together with my marketing for my business, it took me three months to write just three episodes. Mm. Three to six months, I think, you know, breaking breaking yourself down because you have built up so many walls mm. just to write three to six months to just write three episodes. <laughs> I think it has been a very, very difficult moment of me. Mm. But in this, in the past three episodes that I share, right, it's not a full version of myself because, you know, it's new to me. I'm not sure that how am I going to share it, you get what I mean? So I still have a lot of secrets keep inside that I am not willing to share, not willing to show others who am I, what I have been through. Maybe I'm not sure, like, maybe I'm worried about how people view me, you get what I mean? So it's like, I still keep a lot of secrets inside till, you know, when I, when my business... I do live stream, I deliver myself, then I bake, I drive. I still, I to be very frank with you, I'm a PH, private hired driver. <laughs> that my friend, my cousin says, see, since you can't get a job, why don't you just be a private hired driver? Then I say, are you a driver? Are you sure not? What if, because I cannot take it when people vent anger at me for nothing, you know, just like, I give you money, I am the customer, you should listen to me, that type of attitude. So, mm. it took me some while to really accept it and I find that it's very carefree because if I don't like you, I don't think that I will be able to see you the next day again, you get what I mean? So, mm. you bought my car and off you go, bye-bye. <laughs> You get what I mean? So, mm. it's like, it took me some time. So, as and when it goes, it's already, I call, persisted for around five, six years. It still managed to feed me, feed my family, put food on the table to pay the bills. And as my free time, just like today, I can do something that I like. 
mm. and keep in learning and improve myself. Somebody still run away from my question because she don't want to but, share the rock bottom. <laughs> oh, rock bottom. But I wouldn't really say rock bottom because in life, right, I mean that I have really, my up and downs is really like through the years. Let's frame the question this way. Okay. <laughs> if today the person that watched this video is in mid 40 get abusive when they were young, but have a bad childhood, be naughty when in teenager, alcoholic or smoke addiction, just get fired as well in a job, stuck, don't know where to exit. If that's the person watching this video right now, what one thing that you want to share with that person? Also a young lady in mid 40. I would say is that I think the greatest enemy is not the outside world, it's not the people around you. The greatest enemy is yourself. And why I prefer to keep talking about being authenticity, first of all, are you truthful to yourself? Mm, that's are a you, very good one. You know, are you truthful to yourself? In terms of like conversation that we are having, are you speaking the truth or mm. are you hiding? This is something mm. that when I did my podcast, I feel that I am hiding. And mm. till I have a breakdown, a mellow down depression, because I have I used to have depression because of my past childhood. So you know, as and that's when right, yeah. at, at, at some situation you will be like in a deja vu, eh. How come this feeling so familiar? Then you become very panicked. It's like, okay, this is uh maybe a feeling of abandonment, a feeling of like distrust. You know, it's like I am a woman with story, really a lot of story to share. It's just that, you know, sometimes I ask myself, how come I'm just like a cockroach? No matter how you beat, 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 eh? <laughs> you still, you know, in Chinese, like, okay, no matter how you beat, it's still alive. Yes. That's so what I my Chinese friend called me as well, cockroach. I didn't understand. Now you explain. Now I get it. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it's just that, you know, we passed through one trauma, one trauma, and it has been like, it has been consolidated for so many years. Then it, until the time when we are really about to break down, right, is when I had my last depression was like maybe a year back. A year back, I isolate myself from everything. Even I spend money to go for networking, I just sit one corner. <laughs> you know, it's just that like I start to observe. Can I speak to this person? Is this person real? You know, you have so many doubts in life, like that you 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 just feel that your decisions is like all so wrong because you are in the moment of like, I would say maybe negative. Because mm. you have been piling up so much things that you're at the verge of like bursting, breaking out, and you just like cannot control your emotions. And people around you like, ah yeah, you are crazy one na. Here you go again, like a uh, crazy horse, you know, venting your anger here and there. But uh, people who know you know that what you went through. Mm. People who don't know you just say that, ah, yeah, me is always like that. Lah. You know, just crazy. Just let her vent her anger. After one day, she will be fine. But people yeah. don't know the real reasons that what causes you to be like this. People oh, yeah. You have to go with the special, like people who are with knowledge and understand all the psychology stuff, definitely. Yeah. So I think that the first thing that I tell myself that I shouldn't be bothered about what other people say about me. First of all, I need to be truthful and authentic to my own self. Mm. That's when you are able to learn to accept what is coming along. Mm. Yeah. The same lady that we've been mentioned, that if that's person who's watching us, if she was refused to listen to herself and... She like, you know, like when people in that sick, sometimes they deny her and they don't mm, accept the who they are, and they don't agree with a lot of things, right? What help 
that you suggest she should look up for or looking for? I, I think looking say, for help is a one of the courage action that a lot of people don't realize. And I'm still advertised about that because I think asking for help doesn't mean you're weak. Asking for help that you're so strong, that you're aware that you cannot do everything by yourself and certain knowledge, certain energy, certain power that somebody else outside there can support you. Everybody, I would say that you and I, we still have our blind spot. Yes. So we need to be in a community that doesn't really judge. You need to be in, you need to find a community that can provide you a safe, safe space. I would say really a safe space that people don't gossip. People don't say, Ayani, just tell me a secret. I tell you why you don't tell anybody. This is mm. not the community that we wanted. We want... I myself, the even I'm looking for a community, I want a community that is supportive. They accept who you are and when they feel that there's a need for them to speak, they will say, Ni, can I tell you something? May I? So that you don't feel that, hey, this person is intruding my space. This person is not intruding my space. So I think finding a safe environment, someone who really knows you, being finding a coach, a life coach or whatever coach that you are looking for, I think it is very important. You must mm -hmm. know that the characteristic of the coach or the community, the type of community they are building, is it a safe space for you to share? Because I think that there is a lot, actually I feel that a lot of people knows that they need help, but sometimes they lack of the courage to do so they lack of making the first step because they feel that they can't trust anybody out there. Mm. I have difficulty with trust from past over 30 years because I just feel that if you're not authentic enough, I have trust issue with you. You know, like making new friends, I also had my difficulty. But I agree with you, Ni, with a, we had a similar situation like it's our gut feel that I think this person can be trusted. So yeah. the gut let... feel is the one of the things that people look down or like under to make. But for me, it's like when I was younger, I always do opposite what my gut feel, you know what I mean? Because yeah. you're young, you're impulsive, you want to prove it wrong, you don't yeah. believe in yourself. So you just the past... go the other way. <laughs> yes. But for the past five years, as a moment that I listened to my mentor when he tell me one thing that you have a very special gift is your gut feeling that it's very, very good and you should use it. And I, I'm still don't listen to him, right? And I'm telling him like, how, oh, what you're talking about? Maybe it's wrong. He said, no, start use it and then you will see. And he, true enough, what he said for the last five years, my gut feeling not even helped my business grow fast, not even helped me to pick situation, see the big picture, deal with the problem in advance it means the problem not even come i can send it you know like i can send yeah. the behave chain from the person the sentence how the action and everything so i can plan for the exit plan exit plan here is for me not for them right i will never chase anyone out of my life but if i can send that okay you chain nothing wrong with chain it's just our interest is different our goal is different, our vision is different, and sometimes our value even change, right? Yes. You can keep the same mm -hmm. value from day one. Doesn't mean everybody will be the same. When they yes. come, they were like, oh, I have the same dream with you. I have the same value. I want authenticity. I want courage. I want to support people. I want inspiring. I want motivation. I want positive in my life. But after that, for one, two years, you will realize that environment outside there, which is people your normal people you nine to five your friend your parent your whatever like routine you have it pull you back it pull you back to the old way and then you doubt on the journey you go because the journey you go don't see any result yet Agreed. right and yeah and instinct is something that it's so hard to teach people instinct do you agree with me i, I think everybody have it but i I think that's the most difficult thing to teach so far for me. It's so um, hard to explain why it's for people. Because I mean that 
we are all humans. We are brought up in a different way. Some people, yeah. like you, you are a sensor walker. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> walker. You just walk around and you just sense. Okay, yeah. like, like some people, they are in the same environment with us, but they are just like, you know, in their own world. Then they will just say, oh, this is the issue. So we should penalize on this issue. You get what I mean? Some people, they look, I would say that they look at the small things while you and I, we are a big picture person. So when we speak to someone about something, we have already, you know, like, okay, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, you know, we have managed to place everything together to make a conclusion. So this is me. You are a walking sensor. I'm a walking emotions because mm. I can sense emotions. So mm. when I speak to people, the way I see how they behave themselves and the way they speak, I can sense emotions. So just mm. like when I was driving, my my private hired being a grab driver, sometimes I just feel, you know, you know, I just feel something that I say, oh, how's your day? Are you okay today? So there are times that where really people break down in my car, just yeah. confide in me. So I'm very grateful that I also have this kind of like sense of emotions that I also do help that at times that the advice I give them do help them to, you know, feel relief, feel better so that they, they are able to unload and get out of my car and they just had a good sleep, then next day will be, they feel better. You make me remember one of the time that I take grab and I still remember that day. It's so special that I remember. So I have, uh, so I was dating with this guy and he would left the country and I was heartbreak because the, the new is so sudden and we just in love, right? Mm -hmm. And, uh, and that's night from Sandals Cough, you know, so far from my house. From <laughs> and, and I'm in the taxi. And as the moment I'm in the taxi, after exit the gate, I start burst to cry nonstop. Like I cannot hold back anymore. And I would thought I would go home and cry by myself, right? And I don't know somehow I could you know when you're in the crying and then it's getting harder and harder and harder <laughs> and you cannot stop at that moment. And for two seconds I, I I feel so embarrassing because the grab is a guy. It's a guy yeah. and he's there and I think it's awkward as well. And you know what's the beautiful thing he do? He take the box of this show that is the next in front of him. He passed to me and say nothing. Mm -hmm. And he just gave to me the first ball, the first two tissue. I think he realized it's not enough. He brings the whole <laughs> tissue box, he gives to me. Mm -hmm. And I feel like at that moment, without speak anything, I have someone there in a safe space with me, whole space for me, so I can just cry. And then he start open music, like very healing music, like kind of song, like you hear like, move on or like you know for, forget about it or you know love yourself and all that and and you know we born in eight, 80 90 right the music at that generation is awesome not the type <laughs> of music now and he all all that's playlist which is i think he may be the same generation mm -hmm. and at the moment i walk out from the car he don't even say are you okay anything happened to you he only gave me one sentence you're very strong and you will be fine have a good night's sleep. And you know, for me, it's so, it's, you know, it's so beautiful that day. That I even remember his wear the shirt gray color, Chinese <laughs> middle, middle aged looking guy, you know, so calm, so stable in the car. Like the energy is so special that I can feel that he's a family man as well. And I think that's the beautiful thing of like you say, you can feel emotional sense, right? People don't understand how powerful is that because sometimes you don't have to talk, right? Sometimes you don't have to tell the person, are you okay? Anything happened to you, you know? Sometimes you just need someone there and just let it go, right? It's just let it go and you feel comfortable enough. 
I still remember that day, man. <laughs> it's just so and yeah, send us yeah. a call back to my house is so freaking far. <laughs> okay, I know. <laughs> Especially the ECP is so long. I and know, right? And you thing. just have to be the with the same person for so long. Any stranger. And you and that sentence it come with me up to after that. And I realize that, you know. You don't have to be special. And I even, you know, I believe in universe. I tell you that, right? And I believe that even that day, universe decide to let that person pick me up and not someone nasty or turn behind me. I say, what's wrong with you? Are you okay? I, I don't want people to rescue me. I also don't want people to pity me. I also don't want people to look at me as a victim or something wrong with me cry. I think at that moment that even God sent me someone that drive me home, give me a comfort, it's so beautiful. It's so yes. beautiful. This and, I and do then, agree. Because yeah. at times, right, at times when I'm being bothered by my past trauma, my past life, I get so like, and you know that we at that time, that we are at that moment, right, we keep lamenting, lamenting, lamenting. But as I look back the years, right, as you know, I'm also a Christian. I look back my years, right? Then I realized that, you know, God has sent me beautiful people along the way, just like you say, yeah. to help me out. You know, it's like from a gaming friend, when I was like in depths of like, maybe not, maybe like 10 over thousands, you know, that type of depths, credit card depths. Then all of a sudden, a gaming friend who say, I tell you, Friday you take leave. I bring you to somewhere. I say, huh? Why take leave? Take leave, go where? You know? You you don't know what he wants. What? It's just a friend. Then, you know, he took cash out. Cash out. He brought me to every bank in Jurong East. He says that, this is how much? I want to see all the credit card being cut. He just paid all my debts for me. And all he asked for is not about paying back in interest or what. He says that, Every month, how much you can pay me, you just pay me until the debt is clear. You know, sometimes when you feel that you are really down, down, down in life, and it makes your eyes blind that you cannot realize that God or the you, your God that you trust in or the universe that you trust in will send people there to help you. I'm definitely with you on that, for sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because we are blinded. But because sometimes we're looking for things like oh help have to become from this form yes but actually after that the emotional pass or incident pass or the issue pass we realize that help don't have to come from that form it can be someone something else you know yes i do agree just like when i feel that oh i am in deep shit you get me deep shit that that I feel that oh life is so bad that I should just yeah. die. Yeah, you know I mean? it's, like it's unfair like, with it? us, right? You know, it's so yeah, unfair with you and me. Yes, <laughs> we are just lamenting. You know, like why? Why are you so cruel with me? Am I not? Yeah, and why is me? Why? Why nobody why other loves people me? No good life. <laughs> <laughs> like when when you put your heart to work, right? Then you at work. Then people keep finding you trouble. You will keep thinking that something wrong with me did i do not enough you get me you keep doubting yourself but i just wanted to share with all of you do not doubt yourself because you are very unique as a person everybody is very unique you could not find the same similar person on earth even a twins right? a pair of twins right they are different yeah. they look the same 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 but still different <laughs> so we each of us right i think that we have different types of experience different type of qualities because what our past make us to who we are today and i do also know that our past do not equal to my future you get what i mean so we must always keep moving cry finish then we will start i mean that we need to keep rebouncing 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 and we need to keep improving 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 to be where you want. It's never too late to dream. Yeah. But when you start dreaming, you must make it work for us. <laughs> now let's get back to a little bit about your business and how you achieve like so many review about your food. Because I'm sure have some startup and entrepreneur who are watching this video that young as well who want to sell the handmade product or like the personal product that 
want to contribute to the market, what advice you will give them to start selling or be in the market? I just feel that, of course, everybody do business. We need to earn. Yes. Okay. But I just feel that you need to, just like when I started doing my live streaming, I'm just a nobody. I'm really a nobody. Who am I? Do you know me? I also don't know you. You get what I mean? Not. Yeah. So I just feel that if you were to do live streaming, right, be authentic. And sh I think that you need to have a passion. Yeah. Don't cannot say that, oh, iPhone now is selling thousand plus. If I were to sell Elf iPhone, right, I uh, after I get the base price and I start selling, I can earn 500, you know. Then you care, I need to sell 10, 10, 10 sets per day so I can earn 5,000. Uh, this is not the way that I do my business, to be very fair, because, you know, I grew up with always feeling that the lack of knowledge, the lack, because yeah. I study until secondary one. So you just feel, at times you feel a little bit inferior, mm. that you just feel that you're not good enough. So you need to constantly learn here, learn there, learn, 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 learn keep reading online, mm. talk to people to gain experience and everything. So I love cooking. So I love mm. to bake, I love to cook. So mm. when people say that, oh, your cookie is so nice, you should start selling. So that's mm. where I got myself a business coach. Then mm. from there, we started everything like the podcast, the live stream and everything. When I first started my live stream, I was so scared because it's like, I keep thinking, who will buy from you? Who are you? Why should I trust you? Then it as, as I go past my one near to a year i realized that it's not about the product it's about you your person mm. your personality that attract people that people place their no like trust score in you no like trust score i know you i like you i trust you so mm. i will buy your product and support you <laughs> mm. that's what i learned learned through the process and i share about myself and mm. In every live stream, I eat my cookie. That's why I'm a little bit so round. To <laughs> 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 tell people, you see, I bite. Can you hear the crunch? Can you hear yeah. the crunch? Can you see after I bite? You see, still got the, you still got the, you know, the almond bits. So when I say there's almond bits, it's not only just one tiny little bits of almond bits. It's really a mouthful of almond bits. You know, mm. I keep mm. eating, eating, eating. Yeah, sir. Is this mm. the way am I going to do my live stream? Every live stream, I have to keep eating cookies, you know. So as years pass, right, you know, my highest record for a customer to place an order on Shopee on my platform is near to $600 in one bill just to buy my cookie. <laughs> just to support I need to. I need to try it later. Yesterday. You know, I it's like so, so, I don't have a chance you to know, taste it. They make me feel so like you know. Is I I'm a really uh, I'm I'm a nobody. I'm really a nobody, but somehow you know this batch of customer, this batch of viewers make me into a somebody, and it really you know totally. My heart is melt with so much love. Like who yeah. am I to deserve so much love from the customer? Mm. You know. There are also times that I melt down. I say, okay, this is not for me. This is too tiring. You get what I mean? Because I've been streaming every day, every day, really every day, every day, every day. And even that time, my mentor tell me, I started my business, I mean, on Shopee, everything, right? In less than three months, near to three months, or maybe slightly less, mm -hmm. my cross, my, my shop crossed a 10K sales. Wow. I also didn't. When when my when that at that moment my mentor told me, you know your shop cross 10 case you, you know the excitement on their hearts eyes is like bling 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 that type. But when they tell me it's like, oh okay, thank you, yeah, okay. To me, I don't feel that it's an achievement. To me, mm. it's just thank <laughs> you. You get what I'm trying to say? Just like yeah. when I get my degree, I say, Oh, okay, it's just a degree. So I also have my own issues like uh, need to acknowledge my achievement. I mm. also do you know. 
So I mean that there's parts of puzzles and life. If you have a dream, you wanted to start something, just do it. Just do it. I'm also stuck at my podcast, but Ni say, I tell you, you got to come to my channel today. Otherwise, we are not going to be friends. <laughs> Yeah, we are sometimes done. you have to, done. <laughs> you have to track your friend to make them. But yeah, did, so but did you feel good for the last forty five minutes so far? I mean that is oh, I mean I I feel good, but to be very maybe bad, after I maybe I off the live stream and then give you few day and then you get back to me. How was that feel when you do something for the first time that you've been wanting to do it? I I will tell you my like why I'm say that I love to push people right because. So I learned a lot of self development. So like you, right? And I realized that one type of mentor that I will always feel very attractive is a very tough and very aggressive and very tough love type of mentor. Mm -hmm. So all my mentor have one style that is very very scary for normal people, but I love it. Every time I come to him and I say like, oh, you know. I don't know. Should I do it? And he will start like f f f in my face. Like I, who like, how dare you say that to yourself? Do you know how amazing you are? Do you know how many women out there that cannot do what you do? So shut the fuck up and go and do this, 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 this. If you not do it, don't even call me anymore. Get lost from my life because I'm done with you. What do you want to do? You want to be a normal woman like what? Cooking at home, be a housewife and all? Like he start like, you know, like pump, 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 pump to my face. <laughs> Just think of you go for a boxing UFC, and the person mm. just keep punch you, punch you, punch you. That's how you <laughs> feel with the information he gives to your face until you like, okay, I will do it. I say no, not I will do it. Go get now, like right now, right? <laughs> so I remember when I start my mix martial art, which is Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I've been refueled for a few years, and he come to my face and he say, you know what is your lack of as a leadership? You need to learn mix martial art. That's what you need. Then I tell him, I say, can I do? I say no. Today, register, send me the information, and then we talk after that. Like, don't have to meet anymore. So, and then <laughs> after that, you understand. You know, sometimes people just throw you in the swimming pool for you to drink some water and choke, and then you figure figure out the way. Or you come, oh, I finally have air. I think I understand what he's mean. It's awesome. At the same time, it's scary. But that's the first time you break something out. I'm I'm sure you know that. You know your life is like a book Because as well. Everyone need a breakthrough. I think a breakthrough. Yeah, it definitely. Sometimes you know you have been turning in circles, circles so for so freaking long yeah. that you just feel that hey, why am I in this vicious cycle? Because from what I learned, if you don't learn from your lesson, you will be stuck in this circle. Yeah, But the same lesson will give come back. It's just different said, people, different mm, faith, different story. But come but back. But the is thing that you experience is still the same. Yes, I'm with you. When you start to break your cycle, that's when you start to grow. The mm. growth that you experience, right? It it might not be like you know, like the like the stock market. It just go up straight away. It. I mean that everybody needs a baby step. We need a step by step. So, when to be very frank, I'm relaunching my new podcast, and my new mentor also say, "Hey, you need to launch your podcast." Okay, then I say, "Fine, I will launch." I mean, I will write lah. So I started writing that uh based on timeline in this age, what has happened, ta 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 ta. That but now I can tell you that I'm still stuck here because I just feel like okay, something is missing. Because I always had this feeling. You want me to help you launch? <laughs> yes, darling. I will go okay. through. Okay, guy. Since you're watching this, all information Eileen is under the description. Make sure go to her channel and make sure that PM her whatever that tell her. Hey, you promise on Missy podcast you will launch your video. Where is that? We waiting. We want to see it. Since I'm say it's not enough, I will make all the fan pressure you. I think that's the only way, you know. Like, oh my god! No, I'm being cornered. <laughs> of course, that's what I'm doing right now. That's why I said, "Do you want me to help?" Now I'm helping. You, okay. <laughs> okay, because and also if you if you are in Singapore and you love to try her cooking, also information under the description. Everything about Eileen will be under the description. Looking for it? Go and catch up with her. Go and talk to her. Listen to her story. Especially my Singaporean friend. I think Eileen is an awesome story that 
you can learn from each other you know you don't have to be a female to learn from each other i believe that we all can learn from each other as well see i make it work <laughs> thank you my dear <laughs> what a warm welcome <laughs> <laughs> what a warm surprise from you <laughs> She feels that she needs more companion to trap Because yesterday we trapped her in the room <laughs> Yeah, oh my god uh, My slogan is always Go big or go home, baby <laughs> I agree That's why, yeah. to be very frank If you just happen to be very curious, right Do I know me for very long? Sorry, I no. would say we just no, we have just one day love only. We I don't even we just, don't even pass twelve hour mark. Can you imagine yeah. that? Yeah, we don't even meet each other like twelve hour mark. Our friendship and love love ship haven't even <laughs> twelve hours, yeah. but we are we have so much things in common together that when we speak, we just straight away connect from each other. Yeah. 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 Because I get to know her through another platform. I was like, okay, today they have a lady sharing. Then I say, then I was looking at who is this lady? Hmm, this name very special. Oh, Vietnamese lady? Then I say, normally I don't attend. Yeah. But yesterday I tell myself, this lady must be very interesting. So I took the step to went now to Marina Square to meet this awesome lady. <laughs> and the story is like, okay, Thank wow. You. She is like, can I say that you are like a bulldozer? You just bulldozer. yeah, you can say whatever you want, man. My in my channel, you I don't know, have filter. Yeah, yeah, because I feel that you know she is. She has so much passion and so much love for the needy kids that she is supporting. Because I I pretend to tell my mentor that okay, if I can get enough earn enough money, I have a place to stay. I can pay my bills. Blah blah blah. I have enough money to feed myself and my family the rest of the time i yesterday also shared with me that i want to go to rural country so what am i doing in rural country so i have this the love for kids you know so that whenever i see them like in the rural village nobody look after them i just feel very sad you know i just feel very feel so much love for them so i just wanted to in my older days which is like I'm counting my my years. <laughs> that I hope that I can give back to the community, teach them basic English, play with them, should give them the love they need. Because I think that everybody have a had a past. Everybody lack of family love because everybody is busy earning money, mm. putting foods on the table. Providing a shelter, you get I me. Mean? So, but everybody is working very hard. So, I think that at times that when we are young, we feel that we lack of love. Nobody loves us because our parents is always continuous working, working. But we didn't do at that time. We do not understand why do they need to work so hard. They work so hard is for themselves and for us. Is to provide for us. So, I just wanted to say that. Everybody experiences ups and down. Nobody life is smooth sailing. Even a millionaire, life is not a smooth sailing. Oh yeah, they yeah. Know Even those people <laughs> who are born with silver spoon, they when they start to go out, they also will face some difficulties because maybe they do not how know how to communicate well. They do not know that what's happening in the world because they are living in a different world. So everybody have their difficulties. Mm. But I just wanted to say that don't let your past or the experience that bad experience that you had stop you from going forward. Because we are very strong, we are very unique, and I believe that anyone can change their life if they decide to make it happen. You decide for yourself. If you still want to go through this vicious cycle, nobody can help you. But when you are willing to take a step out, your the universe, your God, will just send help to push you out from where you want to be. This is what I believe. <laughs> it's actually that's a question I want to ask you. But we've seen you already sharing, so <laughs> thanks for that. Because we individually 
always judge ourselves the most. Do you agree with me? I think I the bigger agree. person that judge, like, even for myself, I don't think I do good enough, you know, for my community, for my people, for my country, for young generation. I still beat myself up every day for that. I feel like I'm not enough time of doing a lot of things because I want to do so many things. But the strong part is what I agree, not, not more than agree with you because people look at strong as like, oh, you have to bond physically. For me, strong come from within. As a moment you take control of your life, take back the power, you are the strong person that decide where your life to go, like you say, right? And um, Eileen, I want to share with you something before we wrap up this today. First of all, thank you for coming to be the guest of my show. Even you don't know me that much and you decide to trust me and be my guest and share with me your precious story. And from bottom of my heart, I just want to let you know that it's not everybody go through what you go through and be blossom and be charming and be like laughing and cheering everybody energy around you. So don't doubt on yourself for that, for sure. Second thing I want to acknowledge you is even go through all that, you still not give up on continue the journey of self-development, figure out yourself, give back to society, continue on to do podcasts, chase your dream, want to give back to the children. And I believe that one day that will happen. Third thing I want to let you know that <laughs> doesn't matter what people tell you or doesn't matter what the past that it affect you. Because when I'm sharing this with you, also a reminder to me. Because sometimes the past did come up, right? If we can forgive, but we can't forget. Right? Yes. If forgive is something that we've been working on for so many years. But forget is what I don't think we forever can forget certain things that traumatize us. I have a daughter. And I will tell you that if one day... She won't listen to me. You know, the closer the person you are is the harder person that you want to talk with. And you have to know that you're valuable. You know, you are what the world needed. A lot of young women, young generation, young girl, one day, the person that they may listen, it may not me because I may not born and raised here. I may not have a knowledge and the experience as a Singaporean that's struggling because I live here for 10 years. I understand how tough for that to raise here and have to go to girl homes and come back. It's not easy. So never look down on that experience because when another young girl going to go to that shell and they're looking for help, they're looking for mentorship and they're looking for advice, I already can see you, the, the person. Because even you pay me money, I will never have the experience you have. You yes. agree on that? And yes, the three... And the experience you have is what make you have the right to share with people. I'm in your path right now. I'm been there at your age 20 years ago, 30 years ago. But you know what? Your life can be something else. Like your life can be like mine. You don't have to be like mine. It can be something else. But it can have the way out. So yes. I just to let you know all the things that you go through in your life is an amazing experience, is an amazing gift. And I like this sentence that I read in one book. I'm, I can't remember which book that. When we change the sentence that failure and trauma to be experiment, you experiment something, oh, I move on to, to experiment the next thing. That's it. Mm -hmm. Life was so much easier, lighter, and we stop beat each other up and we stop beat ourselves up and we move on to the next place with more gratitude at the same time that we know that that's wisdom is something that only we carry for the rest of our life thank you thank you for being amazing so amazing friend even <laughs> i just know you i believe that we will go more together and i definitely will kick your ass to post more podcasts of course of course i mean that i hope everyone here today will take the courage to make a step out a courage to be authentic because I believe that if everybody is truthful and authentic to your own self, you are able to step out fast. You get what I mean? Because I think being courageous to even face your own fear. 
we have no enemy out there. Our only enemy is ourselves. Be it whether you want to say it's a demon or the other person, the other you, because I always believe that we have another person living in us. So it's always the devil and the angel. So who are you listening to? Our brain and our heart is always fighting because here can think logically. Here is like, ah yeah, I don't think she is so bad lah. You know, we should give a chance lah. But after you give a chance, you get hurt again and again and again. So this is something that I think we need to acknowledge and realize it so that we can continue to move on. And lastly, I would say that you need to love yourself. Love yourself more because nobody will love you more than how you love yourself <laughs> that's correct yeah thank you for being my guest today Aileen. it was wonderful to chat with you thank you for taking your time to be my guest and you guys whoever watching my channel and love the conversation we just have don't forget to like share and subscribe don't forget to follow Aileen under the description below and i will see you in the next episode of miss me podcast Bye. Okay. Bye, darling. Thank you for continue support my Miss Me podcast, and don't forget to.